Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about the startup Cerebral is being investigated by the FTC. So let's get to it. So let's see, the Federal Trade Commission has begun an investigation into mental health startup Cerebral, according to a letter the FTC sent to the company. Letter dated June 1st, they said that it's investigating whether Cerebral engaged in deceptive or unfair practices related to advertising or marketing. The letter also directed the company to preserve documents. What does this mean that they're engaging in an unfair practice related to advertising or marketing? So maybe they're giving false information or... Well, let's continue. The FTC letters asked Cerebral to answer dozens of questions related to the business. In particular, it seeks information related to any programs where Cerebral, Cerebral continues to bill customers a subscription fee until the customer cancels, also called negative option program. Cerebral said in a statement that it intends to cooperate fully with the FTC and, it, and that it is working to improve its service for our patients. The company said it has recently undergone an effort to redesign the cancellation prop. So they're having issues with the cancellation process? The FTC civil investigation investigative demands follow a subpoena that the company said its medical group received in early May from federal federal prosecutors as part of an investigation into possible violation of the Controlled Substance Act. Cerebral said in a statement at the time it received the subpoena that it intends to cooperate with the investigation. Da 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 da. It issued a new enforcement policy statement. Last October, warning companies against using tactics that tricks or traps consumers into subscription services. <laughs> Several patients told the journal they struggled to cancel their account and receive refunds for the services they, don't, they didn't use. Some patients said that they had to ask their financial institutions to block Cerebral in order to stop the charges. Many have shared similar complaints on social media and review sites. So this person is literally... This company is a pro scammer. And... Remember, guys, their subscription that we we looked is what like a hundred ninety five dollars a month. So imagine people spending a hundred two hundred dollars without like trying without being able to cancel it. <gasps> so here's an example from Amanda who signed up for Cerebro earlier this year struggled to cancel her account. She sent several messages requesting a cancellation, but in response, the company sent her a cancellation form it said she needed to fill out. What? So they're not making you cancel online and that it's form-based? And Cerebro vaulted to a 4.8 billion valuation less than two years after it launched its services, nearly raising nearly 500 million in capital for, from A-list investors, including SoftBank. Dude, anything that SoftBank invested is just so bad. <laughs> it grew quickly advertising online mental health treatment, first for depression and anxiety, and later for attention hyperactivity disorder. Wow. And even they declined to answer. <laughs> Cerebral hefty advertising budget helped fuel its fast growth from 2020 to 2021. Plan to increase its marketing spending more than tenfold to $65 million. On TikTok alone, Cerebral spent more than $13 million from January to May this year, making it the third biggest advertiser behind HBO and Amazon. The success stories has fallen apart in recent months as the company has faced questions about its prescribing practices surrounding controlled substance such as Adderall to treat it. <gasps> AD Wait, this? What? That's so crazy. Cerebral said in its statement that it had received notice that United Health is terminating coverage without cause effective cause effective August 29th. So they were already a fishy company because and that some of the companies has noticed like CVS, all these places that files now they're like, oh, you're kind of sketchy. Some pharmacies that delayed or stopped filling cerebral prescriptions said they did so because of concerns that the companies was writing too many stimulant prescriptions. So giving out free prescriptions? The Wall Street Journal reported in March that some of the cerebral nurse practitioners said they felt pressured by the company to prescribe stimulant for ADHD and that they felt the company's 30-minute patient evaluation 
weren't long enough to proper diagnose ADHD. So, to my understanding, it's a bunch of drug dealers that made a company so that they sound legit, but they're actually kind of very sketchy. And the fact that and the fact that they were giving out free meds is so sketchy. You don't get the drugs from them, just the prescription. True, true, you don't get the drugs. So they are the prescription provider for the drugs. And but then it doesn't seem hard to be getting the ADHD one, the Adderall. Oh, wow, it's just speechless. What has the world turned into? <laughs> This is very scary, guys. Like, imagine all the kids that's on TikTok. They're, they're probably watching TikTok and they did their advertising saying, Hey, you know what's good for you? You could try this for your mental health issue. But you know, kids, you, you know, like people are going to probably go through and like they're going to <laughs> give you stuff. Imagine these kids also like they'll probably get the $30 one. Because they do evaluation, diagnosis, and prescription by a medical prescriber. And they do monthly medication delivery. And this like regular video call session, I bet it's kind of like, how you feeling? Oh, I'm having issues. Still ADHD. Okay, don't forget to write. Don't forget to give me a five star on TikTok. <laughs> what the heck? That's so crazy. Uh, continuing, sorry, Cerebral has said it is filing an important need for mental health care service at the same time demands outstrip supply. The company said clinicians aren't required to diagnose or treat patients during the first 30-minute appointment, and it's no longer prescribing most controlled substances. It said that a single-digit percentage of its patients were given a controlled substance to treat ADHD. Many of them just got the mental health treatment. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see you. So a little bit about this article, and we'll come kind of conclude this is that ooh, I'm just really speechless the fact that like people knew of this earlier and probably got free you know prescription and they are saying hey like we only prescribed it to a few but you know evidence say that they were giving out free like stimulus prescriptions out there and there's a reason why a lot of people ended up not partnering with them so i'm just really speechless what are your thoughts do you think this is actually like a legitimate company or that they're kind of super sketchy and that like this company should not exist anymore so COVID mental health service are needed uh, cause of the pandemic and remote service like these, but this company should go under. Yeah, so I honestly agree with the fact that probably cause of COVID and people are probably having a hard time with mental illnesses since you were basically stuck inside your house for what, two years. So I really want to support. Yeah, cause you probably like what local says, you probably couldn't go to the doctor's office or, you know, you were really scared of getting COVID at the time. Nowadays, it's been very chill about it, but these type of, you know, are very good. But if they're using it for a bad reason, ex especially Adderall or and that they're promoting it on TikTok, I would be very sketchy about this. I would actually put a red line to this and yeah, because kids won't know. They probably heard about that type of drug and would be interested. But, you know, parents really can't stop kids from looking at TikTok. I'd be feeling very sketchy about this drug. And I don't know, man. I hope, you know, it's great that you're going to probably give everything that the FTC is needed. But I don't know how long you'd be lasting because there are some fishy things that was mentioned about what you guys are doing especially guys the cancellation you know you could get a better subscription service if you just did more of an oh yes stuff so i don't know man <laughs> just kidding um anyways that's all for this news i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys have any questions or feel you know anything feel free to leave a comment below other than that i am done for this and yeah see you on the next one